Good morning, Lancers. Please stand and join us in our morning prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we come to our final week of classes, we ask, Lord, your blessing on our year's efforts, and we pray that we may find success in both our studies and in our formation as your people. Help us to heal from the wounds we have had endure this year and give us a compassion to forgive injuries of our own sake and, of, and that of those who give offended us. May we have a safe summer so that we may return next year filled with passion for our studies and a greater sense of love for you and our fellow brothers and sisters. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lancers, please be seated. Hello again, Lancers. My name is Ariel Reed, and this is Lancers in the News. And I'm Chris Cruz. Yesterday as a nation, we commemorated Memorial Day. The Yama family, for their part, gathered at the War Memorial on campus yesterday at 4 p.m. for the annual Lancer Remembrance to honor those in our school family who have fallen as members of our armed forces. Let us continue to honor and pray for those who sacrifice their lives in service to our country. And let us also continue to pray for the Lancer families who continue to feel the effects of their passing. On Tuesday, the seniors had their rehearsal for graduation during the first period block. Then our seniors were treated to a hot dog lunch provided by ASB. Then after their final exam, they gathered in the quad for the ceremonial balloon release. As the balloons were released, our seniors spent some time embracing each other for the last time as students. Then as the school was released for the day, juniors and underclassmen came out to give the seniors their own final hug as well. The quad was once more the gathering point for the seniors later in the evening as they enjoyed a senior luau with traditional Polynesian buffet dinner, fixed with all the trimmings. Then their group Tupua performed a spectacular show of culture Pacific Island dances. The fire dance was a senior favorite along with the follow the leader competition which followed. After the show, our seniors enjoyed an evening of dancing and began a wonderful tradition of mix of Italian chicken dance and country swing, followed by the long conga line with the senior Cindy Carrillo in the lead. The following day on Wednesday, the seniors were honored and recognized before the whole school for their academic, sport, and performance accomplishments. During the assembly, we also recognized our Teachers of the Year. This year, there were a few firsts. Our Vice Principal, Mr. Richard Beck, was recognized along with the first year teacher, Ms. Morales. Mr. Devera, the moderator for CLC, was also recognized as Teacher of the Year. We congratulate our teachers who serve as a wonderful testament to Alma education. That afternoon, seniors went to Disneyland for their grand night celebration. The event, which began early this year, would also end earlier than years past. However, lanterns in general were also allowed to park hop and to enjoy more hours of fun at the theme parks, along with more opportunities to get on rides throughout the evening due to two free fast passes granted to each student and a fewer number of seniors at the event. The seniors also gathered before Sleeping Beauty's Castle for dancing, and here they remained to bring a close to their grand night with a spectacular fireworks display. On Thursday, our seniors then returned to partake in their baccalaureate mass in the Carroll Center, celebrated by Bishop Obama President Monsignor Carroll, con-celebrated by our school chaplain Father Michael Setsi, and in the spirit with priests from the various parishes who were also in attendance. At the event, Dr. Hemingway gave a heartfelt farewell to the seniors and in so doing to the school in some respect. Then seniors gathered with the faculty to enjoy the annual faculty senior dinner in Friday was a long-awaited commencement exercise for the class of 2012 he held here in Kiefer Stadium. Here now with the details and more on the event, we have Mariah Wilson. Good morning, Lancers. Mariah Wilson here at the 2012 Bishop Amat Memorial High School 52nd Annual Commencement. The 2012 graduation started with the pomp and circumstance as well as the Star Spangled Banner played by the Amat Band. Later, the Pledge of Allegiance was given by our 2012-2013 ASB President, Tochi Nosu. The invocation was given by Reverend Michael Setsi. The welcome was given by Dr. Hemingway. Then our salutatorian, Christopher H. Gonzalez, spoke. You'll Be In My Heart was sang by members of the 2012 senior class. Valedictorian, Byron S. Maltese gave a amazing speech. You Raise Me Up was then sung by Greg Lima. Then representing His Excellency Archbishop Jose H. Gomez was Monsignor Aidan Carroll. And the diplomas were given out. Ending the evening, the alma mater was sang by the 2012 graduates. 
for the last time on the football field and all retreated to fireworks to mark the occasion. Well, Lancers, I'm here with Cameron Wall and Mrs. Wall. Cameron, describe your feelings at this moment. It's just excitement, excitement for the future. It, it, it's bittersweet, though. You know, it's the last time seeing all my friends like this, all of us together. You know, it's, it's just a fantastic feeling. And Mrs. Wall, ha uh, being a mother who has had three sons come out of the same exact school that you have gone to, how does this feel for you? What does this moment mean to you? It means a lot. It, it feels like it went full circle. I remember graduating exactly in the same place and um, to be able to go through it over and over again, it's such a great feeling, it, especially um, knowing this is my last one, it's bittersweet. You know, I'm very proud of all of his accomplishments, but at the same time, um, I'm sad to see it end. It's been um, a marvelous eight years with the three of them and, um, it, and it's kind of ironic that Dr. Hemingway was my principal in, back in 1981 and that he ends now with my youngest son. And it's just, um, well, but we're all Lancers, and that's mm -hmm. nice. Now Cameron joins us. <laughs> hey Lancers, I'm here with Dr. Hemingway. Dr. Hemingway, this is obviously a momentous occasion for you. And um, can you share any thoughts with us about tonight's ceremony? It's, it's kind of bittersweet for me, um, knowing that it's my last. Um, I think probably for myself, one of the exciting parts are the number of parents here who I either taught or I was their principal also. I've done, I've done several generations and um, it, it makes me realize I've been around for a long time and I'm grateful. I'm really grateful for the experience. I'm grateful for 31 graduations that I've been through. So uh, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss all these kids I'm leaving behind, but they're in good hands. We're in very good hands, so thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hemingway. We're going to miss you as well. Well, as you can see, it was another spectacular night to be a Lancer. We congratulate all of our 2012 graduates, and we will miss you, but you'll always have a home here at Almont. And best wishes and many blessings to you in your future endeavors. For Lancers in the News, I'm Mariah Wilson. Back to you in the studio. Thank you. We now turn to general news for the week. Today there will be award assemblies taking place during first period for freshmen, second period for sophomores, and third period for juniors. We congratulate all those who achieved success this year in their studies, sports, and performance groups. Students participating in Saturday's Relay for Life should speak with Mr. Rainers today at lunch. Donations are still being accepted and students who wish to get involved may still do so. Speak to Mr. Rainers for more information and details. This week, we will be taking semester exams as a school. Periods 1, 2, and 3 will have their exams on Wednesday, period 4 on Thursday, and periods 5, 6, and 7 on Friday. We pray for everyone's success this week. Tomorrow, we will enjoy a minimum day. Lanterns, enjoy this afternoon off. This Friday is the last day of school, and we will also have a minimum day. This Friday, ESCO will be on campus to buy back books from 1 to 5 p.m. Books for the fall will be available online beginning August 1st. Bishop Mont's Advanced Choir, known as the Chamber Singers, will host auditions this Friday from 1.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Experienced and dedicated singers are wanted and encouraged. Each person auditioning will sing the Star Spangled Banner, memorized, and in a classical style. Ms. Ismay will also check your range, music ability, and sight reading. All applicants must complete an application with two letters of reference. Applications are found in the front office of the school and on the choir blog. For more information, speak to Ms. Sisama. And also remember, Lancers, you do not need to audition to join Lancer Choir. Simply speak to your academic counselor. We now turn to the Sports Corner. Welcome to the Sports Corner, Lancers. I'm Billy the Kid Carmache. We begin our news with our baseball team, who hosted the Wildcats of Monrovia last week in what would be our boys' final game of the year. The game was a tough one, with Monrovia taking the lead in the third. Our boys upped up their game with a chance to turn the tide in the 7th. However, Monrovia would hold back the Lancers' advance and take the win in the 7th. We wish the best to our graduating seniors and look to the return of those remaining next year. The girls' softball team hosted Torrance High School last Tuesday at Citrus College. After Torrance brought in a runner in the 1st, Amo would answer with one run in the 4th and three in the 5th. The final score, Lancers 4 to the Vikings 1. Our girls would then move into the next round of CIF, hosting the Bulldog 
Bulldogs of Burbank High School on Thursday, putting the first number on the board in the third with six runs. Burbank would then bring four runners to the home in the fifth. Our ladies would increase their lead with four more runs in the sixth, bouncing the Bulldogs out of the competition. We ask prayers for our speedy recovery of Nicole Fonten, who experienced an injury on the field this past Thursday. The girls will now host Chino Hills Tuesday at 3.15 p.m. in Joe Rogers Field. We welcome our new girls volleyball coach and alumni of the class of 2001, Ms. Ethel Del Rosario. Ms. Del Rosario returns from having been the head coach at Charter Oaks High School. She is the VP of Volleyball Operations for B3ST, Best Sports Training, and directs Best Volleyball Club. Make certain to give her a warm Amat welcome. The Bishop Amat Boys Basketball Team will host a summer basketball camp to boys entering grades 5 through 9. The camp is for both the experienced and inexperienced player. The camp will take place June 18th to the 21st from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. in the Carroll Center. Participants receive instructions in the fundamentals of basketball, including shooting, dribbling, passing, rebounding, screening, and offensive techniques. In addition, each camp will receive a camp t-shirt. The daily program inc will include not only the participating essential fundamentals, but also special contests and daily scrimmages. Each player will have an opportunity to compete according to his skill level. The $100 fee must accompany the application due no later than June 14th. Checks should be made payable to Lady Hoopster Basketball Camp. A limited number of applications will be accepted, so send your application and fee as soon as possible. Frost tryouts for basketball will be held Thursday, June 14th from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. and then on Monday, June 18th from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., immediately following the boys' basketball camp. Incoming freshmen who are planning to try out should attend both days. Finally, Lancers do not miss out on the opportunity to sign up for the fun and interactive video productions class offered this summer here at Bishop Mott. For more information, speak to Mr. Aranis in room 105. And if you want to catch up on any sports team or general info, go to <coughs> thelance.org. Well, that wraps up another edition of the Sports Corner. I'm Billy the Kid Karmache. We will see you in the fall when we return with our regular scheduled program. Until then, go Lancers! Now stay tuned for some final announcement editions. For Lancers in the News, I'm Ariel Reed. And I'm Chris Cruz. Lancers in the News is brought to you courtesy of the Bishop Mont Video Productions Club. To watch this edition of Lancers in the News, as well as previous news editions and a sample of videos produced by the club, visit schooltube.com and type Bishop Mont in the Find Your School link. On behalf of us all here at Lancers in the News, thank you for your attention and support. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the summer! summer. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore.